Photographer Anais Lopez travels to the richest, smallest, and safest country in Asia, Singapore. There she meets a striking little bird. It's an extraordinary feathered creature with an extraordinary story. Hij wilde mijn aandacht. Hij wilde praten. Ja. Nama Kumina. Hidup saya dalam kebahayaan besar. Stardom, exile and persecution are just a few elements of its tumultuous life. This is The Migrant, based on a true bird story. Hi, my name is Anais Lopez. I'm a storyteller and a photographer. This is my studio. I live in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, and for 10 years I work on long-term projects. The Migrant is a story about a bird who is his whole life on the run. It's also about a broader theme. It's about rapid urbanization, uh, the relationship between humans and animals, and about the other, the unwanted other in modern society. The first time I met Mina was in 2012 when I went for a masterclass to Singapore. And there, after a really long flight, I was exhausted. And I went straight for my hotel and I fall in a deep sleep. And then suddenly I heard this really loud noise <coughs> at the window. And I looked at him and there was this little bird and he was screaming so loudly that it was impossible to sleep. So I decided to go for a walk through the city. I went downstairs and then suddenly I saw this little bird again. He was waiting for me at the crossing pass. And he looked at me like, what took you so long? And together we walked for five hours, side by side. He would hop a bit, fly a bit, and then always come back to me. After five hours, he jumped on the fence and screamed one more time, really loud, Rah! and then flew off. I went back to my hotel and I wondered, who was this little bird? And imagine my surprise when I opened the newspaper and there was the picture of this little bird in front of me. And there was, it was called the New Terrorists in Town. I immediately started to read and I found out that his name was Mina and that it was a bird who was the, on the run his whole life. I did some investigation and there I found 100 articles about his life. And since then I was fascinated by this little bird and decided I should make a story about it. I worked with the brilliant Teun van der Heide, who is a graphic designer here in the Netherlands. On my first book was, was called uh, In the Beginning No Bird Song. So we were quite used to work together, but this was a unique experience. Um, Teun is not just a graphic designer. With him, you work truly in a cooperation and you think together how to make the book. We decided almost immediately that it had to be in a story as well. I felt like Tintin investigating this story, and that's why we decided to include my story in cartoon form. Sonny Lou was the perfect choice to make the cartoons. Being from Singapore himself, he's a brilliant cartoonist and knows everything about the animals and the politics of the region. From the start, I wanted the migrant to be a fable, and I wanted to make a really special book, not a regular book, but just a book that would be like unique and could interact with people. So together with Tun, we decided to make a performance book. Well, that was not my initial idea. It was much more that I was looking for someone to write a text with the book, a fable text, a scenario. And I ended up with Avery Blankenfort from Prospector, and she convinced me that this project was multi-layered. She saw films, she saw interviews I did with all kinds of experts, she saw material archive, material photography, and she said to me, this would be awesome to make a web application. So together we decided that we should give it a shot, and we started to work on it. And not only with her, but with a great, amazing team, who would work with me to make five different episodes about the life of Mina. It's not the book that we translated in the exhibition, but the whole project, all the different aspects of the project. We have different mediums, 
So we had the web application, we had the pictures, we had the, uh, the book and uh, also a radio podcast that we made. And um, I didn't, we did it together. And when I say we, because we always work together and uh, I work always with a really big team. And with Prospector and graphic designers Kuma and Hermann, we, we invented the exhibition. And uh, we decided even to put an extra layer on the exhibition. And the challenges we encountered uh, was that, for example, when you have a web application, it's really hard to show that in an exhibition. The, the connection of the Wi-Fi has to be really good. And there are only two people who can see it when you put it there. So um, with the editor, Thomas Vroege, uh, we decided to make a long uh, film of the whole story of Mina and put it in a big screen in a cinema setting. Well, uh, I don't make art for the art scene. I always truly believe that my mission is to bring art to everyone. So I really love to play around with all the mediums. And when we started to make the web application, that was for a broader audience, for young people, Netflix-minded people, who could just click and, and go fast through the episodes. But then with the performance, I decided I really wanted to interact with people and with a different audience, like people who came here in the Netherlands, people who just migrated. So with this small performance where we were all together sitting next to the book and telling the story, you had a completely different experience. Um, with the exhibition came a new different part of the audience and there I really decided what was super important for me was to bring the, the exhibition to other places. So I wanted to bring it back from where it came from. So we made one exhibition here in the Netherlands, but it's also traveling to Singapore next year and to Indonesia where the bird is from and also to Guernsey. The beauty of changing of medium is that every time you have to rethink how you're going to tell the story in a surprising way. Making an exhibition was never the plan. But once we did, I could even make the story evolve. In the Dutch Photo Museum, where the story is now placed, I got the chance to, to dive in the archive of Indonesia and also found a missing part of the story. His previous life of Maina as a singing bird of the king in Jakarta in 1900. At the moment I'm working on two big projects. Uh, one is about a turtle that I met in Japan uh, a few years ago. I was walking there along the, the river in, in Kyoto, along the river named Kamogawa. And there I saw this little turtle that I really wanted to photograph because she was swimming with this long stick. And well, I found it strange. Every day, a, a, like a turtle swimming with a stick. And then suddenly, after 14 days that I tried to make a picture of her, she swam to me. And I found out that she was gold. She was made of gold, but she was alive. And when I took a picture of her really quickly, uh, I asked people around who, who she was. And they told me she was the god of nature. And since then, I'm diving in the archives to understand her history and trying to find her back. So this is one of the stories I'm making. And the other one is more personal, more at home, more when I'm here uh, in the Netherlands. Um, my mother uh, uh, was two and a half to when her mother left in 1946, just after the Second World War, and she never came back. And I'm trying to find her back, so I'm trying to find my grandmother and to understand what happened. So I'm diving in archives and trying to find the truth about it. Well, first of all, I think you should follow your intuition. When you see this little black bird, just go after it and don't ask yourself too many questions. Just follow your guts. Um, then I would say if you don't think that you have to do everything yourself, because mostly we are really good photographers, but sometimes we are not good editors. So just ask people for help. But when you do that, really remind, remind yourself that you have to leave your ego at the door. It's the only way where you can make brilliant things together. Um, other tips that I think of, uh, feel free to do whatever you want using whatever medium you can think about it. Don't feel like you have to photograph things. Sometimes you just have to film, sometimes you just have to listen, sometimes you just have to write down what you see. Uh, don't feel stuck in, in one little uh, corner. Just use your freedom to, to create, to experiment, to, to go over the border, borders. Um, maybe that's a Dutch expression, but just go over the borders and just see what you're going to find out there. Uh, and have fun!
basically that's the most important thing. Have fun and make beautiful stories that we can think of. And maybe also what I think for me works well is that what I have as a great reminder is that you shouldn't um, try to answer questions, but just ask questions. Ask many, many questions as you can.